what they said. Coming up in today's show, Naomi gives her thoughts on when to have your first holiday with a new partner in Naomi's wifey lifey. And in Lou's dating diary, she takes us on her pre-date rituals. We ask the big question, when is a non-negotiable not a non-negotiable? And I'll put that in quotations in question of the week. The spotlight is on the fire sign Leo in Starcross Lovers. Are they the king of the jungle? And in perfect match this week, it's me. <laughs> Find out how Naomi did in matching me up with my potential Mr. LP. LP. All that and more in today's show. Oh, boy. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Naomi. Hi, Lou. I can't believe we're back for season two. Woohoo. Yeah, we're back at Bella Vista Hotel. It feels like coming home. I said that to you when we walked in, right? For sure, for sure. It's just so lovely to be back back here and to get things going again for the year. We know how everything fits in, all the machine, all the mics. We even have Uh, the TV with with our our logo logo on the back. Look at us, we're proper podcasters all of a sudden, you know what I mean? (laughs) Top five people, top five with over 45,000 downloads as well. That is amazing. And thank you so much for our wonderful supporters out there. The herd. The herd. The herd. You guys are the herd and we're very grateful for you. Um, And thanks for taking um, part in our online vote for that as well. Yeah. So we listen to you and we will always listen to you. And uh, we are so looking forward to how the rest of the season goes and also for this this episode, right? I know. I know. The first one for the year. So we've got lots to share, lots to talk about. I know. So let's get into it. Wifey lifey. dance to that tune? Yeah, I always dance to that tune. It's, it's an awesome tune. And thank you, Danny Muller, for doing all our music, DJ, magnificent person extraordinaire. And what we will talk about this week, Naomi? I'm going to talk about couples and holidaying together. <laughs> is it that like make or break time? <laughs> it, it is. It is. Like, I'm going to drive. No, you drive. I'm like, well, you know, I can't drive. So Asking hey, we for will. directions. <laughs> oh, thank God for Google Maps. Mm. I think that's a bit of a relationship saver over the years. I mean, how do you decide where to go? Like, you know, do you are you both on the same page or are you like, no, I want to go here and the other person's like, no. Oh, I, I, like what, <laughs> what we've done is we've been on three trips together. The first one, we went to Melbourne and my kids love the AFL. So uh, we sort of like said, oh, we'll fly down to Melbourne to see um, a Sydney Swans game. Nice. So we flew down and then I said to Mr. Naomi. <laughs> Mr. Naomi K.O. He's, he's, he's back. He's back. Um, would you like to come along and, and, uh, and without, with us on the trip? And we were only going out for a short period of time then. And then he said, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll come along. So he took his kids along. Oh, nice. Yeah, and we ended up getting two service departments because um, I've got three kids, he's got two, we needed a big space. So we just ended up having our separate apartments. Mm. How long were you together when you did that? Though? I mean, I guess another question is like, when should you go on holiday? Like when's the Oh, I think time? it was a little bit over a year. Uh, Mr. Naomi Ka- Ka- <laughs> uh, Ko is like actually going, seven months, we were seven months. <laughs> no. Seven months we were together. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that we'd, we that we decided to take on this trip. And so we did start sort of like blending the kids and that was really fun. So we went down for a weekend for a game down at the Sydney, uh, with the Sydney Swans during the school holidays. And it was really, you know, and it was having a feel of how the kids were going to be around each other 24 hours. Yeah. And how we were going to be travelling together. And I mean, and how do you navigate that? Was there a bit ups and downs? Was it a bit like, ooh, you know, because obviously you both are separate people as well. You both yeah. had your own holidays. Put, uh, you're like, you know, yeah, what yeah, were yeah. some of the tips? I'm, I like to think that I'm quite an easy traveller. <laughs> <laughs> so I tend to go with the flow a lot. And, you know, I originally grew up in Victoria. So going down to Melbourne was just, you know, another trip down there that to, yeah, and I would see like family and local, stuff. Like, yeah, really, yeah. I, you know. So I was happy to go down there. There wasn't anything in particular that, you know, I wanted to do going down to Melbourne. So I was, except for the AFL game. So we did that. And it was more sort of like a bit of an exploration trip down there for them as well. Um, we so were, they've never been to Mel- that Melbourne before? No, no, not, really? not travelling. Yeah. With Dang. Okay. <laughs> no, so 
I'm just so like, it was good. So it was it was a it, it was a good experience for them. So I was open to a lot of things, um, and then you know we went out and we explored all the um, restaurants and cafes, and we did Art Vo, You know that um, museum down there. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's really brilliant. Cool. Yeah, that is such an awesome mm. place. And yeah, so that was sort of like a little trial trip just to see how we would go. I mean, it, whilst you were doing that, I mean, like. Looking back now, were there things that you could maybe tell the herd? Yeah. Like what, you know, tips? I mean, I know that you said, yeah, be easy going. I mean, supposing somebody says, well, I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I don't want to go to the Blimmin Museum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was a, it's a compromise mm. as well. Do you know what I mean? Because there's seven people where, you know, and we had older kids and yeah. younger. And so there was a bit of an age difference. And yeah. It was it was sort of pretty much like a, a vote with the majority as well. Yeah, and trying to keep everybody happy. Mm. So if somebody wanted to do something, you can you can put in that special request, and then it was navigating to make sure that hey, you got to do this. Yeah. So now we're doing this for somebody else. Balance. Yeah. So it is, <laughs> and I think we planned it a little bit backwards because. I wanted to go to New York at the end of the year, take my kids over mm. to New York. Um, and it was something that my partner actually wanted to do. And going to New York would have been a longer trip. So we wanted to have a bit of a test run in a way. Yeah. I think it's really important to have a, a bit of a trial run. Yeah. Man, because you've got to be on an airplane. You're going to be like cooped up there for like how many you hours? You've no choice like, except hanging around blimey. these people for 24 yeah. hours. Yeah. And I mean, in a whole different country as well. Oh, <laughs> totally, totally. And so it was good for us to have that little bit of a trial run in Melbourne. Mm. And then when we went to New York, that was really lots of fun. So we yeah. only had um, one of his daughters come along yeah. on that trip. But um, it was really it was really good and it, uh, it gave an opportunity for the kids to learn about negotiating. Mm. It's, dip- it's different when you're actually um, with siblings as well. You know, so I've taken my kids travelling before, you know, like with family or yes. – and it's always, you know, they, they can fight amongst themselves. But having – bringing in an extra um, two family members in where they're closer than your friends mm. but not as close enough to bicker with. Yeah. Do you and, know what I mean? Yeah. So, and so I mean, and who says knock it off? Like say, say the kids are bickering and stuff. Who takes the lead in that? I mean, do you both like – Split it or is it a case Actually, of like, I'll are- just deal with my kid, <laughs> like, you know. No, it, when we went to Melbourne, it was his two daughters and then if there was an issue, he would sort it out. Mm. And if it was my three kids, I'd sort it out. So yeah. it's still very much separate on that in that sense with parenting. And that was like very early on in our relationship as well. We're yeah. two years in. And for us, it was establishing our little boundaries so that we – didn't cross it as well because yeah. they still Stay have in their parents. Each lanes for a bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so I think it's important that in the early stages, until the kids feel safe with the partner, I don't think that partners should just yeah. step in. I agree. Unless, unless it's almost like an invitation, yeah. waiting for an invitation. Yeah. Unless there's like danger happening, like they're, they're playing with knives and stuff. And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Like, yeah, yeah. If they were playing with knives and, and into, oh, your fire and yeah, stuff like exactly, that, that's you know, when you'd interfere because danger is. But on the day-to-day functionalities and um, arguments with siblings um, bickering, I think it's important for the parent to step in as opposed to your partner. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I guess when is the next holiday going to happen then? (laughs) (laughs) We do actually have to start. So we came back from Japan. So we've done a couple of big trips now, but uh, yeah, we'll probably have to look at the next venue. Ooh, stay uh, here. Oh my (laughs) God. (laughs) Uh, When me and Jay first started dating, um, it was very much like what you did. Like, so we went, uh, we went away by ourselves first. Yep. To, to have that. And then um, and then we took uh, my son to meet his daughter um, because they were very close in age and about three years difference. And you know what? From the get-go, they got on, they were thick as thieves. That's awesome. Got on like a house on fire. And yeah. so we really didn't have much to worry about. There. Yeah. So we, um, I think we were lucky because they were, my son at the time was six and she was four. So, yeah. you know, so it was like it's still very... That's a good gap. Yeah. Exactly. The, the way they, and you can sort of like throw them in because they both like ice cream. Yeah, exactly. It was like oh, ice cream and, and they were just, you know, so I think it's like what you said with um, when you went away, you, you know, when you have different age groups, I think it does depend on, on the ages of, of the kids, right? For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so if, I mean, to the herd that's listening, if they've got younger kids, I, I would genuinely say 
from a personal level, it does seem it, it's easy. I don't think you have to really work too hard yeah. on the kids having a good relationship because, yeah, you can throw them together by um, doing a, a little activity together. Whereas older um, older teens, it's a little bit harder because they have to learn to navigate and talk to each other and there's a there's a lot of things that they need to find in common yeah in order to make that connection yeah no definitely they've got that in man's at that point you know yeah, although, they, right. although they like to think so you know what i mean yeah 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 <laughs> so no I, I, and you did talk about cruises and stuff like that so yeah, it's I love a cruise you could just I've, forget about them as well. See, that's a good thing about it. Like, yeah, you I've to, never been on one. You don't need to worry about if they will get on and whatever. You just like and you, throw not, them in the kids' club, man, and you just forget about it. And not know? worry about them getting lost or anything. Exactly. They're on the you, vessel. Yeah, right? you know, oh, where are they? Oh, it's, it's, it's fine. They're, they're somewhere here. It's not yeah. like they can go anywhere. And they'll find some friends. You know, they they, I haven't heard a, a Tanoi announcement saying, like, you know, kids overboard or anything. So I think <laughs> we're all right. Yeah, everybody who's be- who I know who's been on a cruise with kids. Go, go, go on the cruise. Love it. Go on the cruise. <laughs> any, any cruise sponsors out there? Yeah, please. Cruise sponsors. Come on then. <laughs> We're game. And we can broadcast on there. Lou's <laughs> yeah. Dating Diary. So <laughs> we're back, we're back, we're back, and uh, with uh, hopefully not too many disastrous dumpster fire st- dating stories. But we're going to start off with something. Go on, Naomi. Go on, go on, go on. I know it's my segment, but this is all because of Naomi. Yes. So, so I'll put the blame it, on her. <laughs> so we ended up with an intervention, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yes. Yes. If you listen to um, the New Year's episode, if you haven't, please go back and listen to that so that you understand where this is going <laughs> and where we're coming from. Yes. Um, it's a place of love, though. Yeah, you know I mean? it is a place of love. So Luz hasn't had <laughs> much luck with her dating. Even though you, the herd, you guys have found it hilariously funny. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad I'm the butt of a many of you guys' amusement. And, uh, you know, but hey, I love you guys. So, you know, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I've my decided, pain is your gain. Yes, yeah, so I've decided I'm going to play matchmaker for Lou. Yeah, and she has done. Ooh. <laughs> so it's, <laughs> how do I say it? So I went on. Yeah, tell, tell, tell what, them what your I process. Yeah. Okay, so I ended up going on to quite a few community pages. Man, she sold me out, man. And, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So I pretty much... Um, put a post on Facebook, uh, community pages. Yeah, yeah, emphasis on pages. Yes, okay. pages. It wasn't, at least it wasn't freebie. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I didn't. <laughs> Facebook marketplace. <laughs> Gumtree. I think somebody said that. Pay, like, pay forward. <laughs> yeah. Cra- <laughs> Craigslist, you know. So I did, uh, I did a post and said that um, I'm looking for, to match make a girlfriend with mine, out of mine and, um, She's in her mid forties and looking for a guy between forty two and fifty two. I think I gave a range. Yeah, a range. And um, I thought fifty. It was fifty, 50? not fifty. Yeah. And um, and then I um, asked people if they've got single male friends to recommend it, or <laughs> if they were single themselves, they can put themselves forward. Like she put it out there, like brothers. It's, uh, it's funny because I was scrolling, just mind my own business, <laughs> just scrolling on Facebook because I, I, I knew that she was gonna go on like the dating sites or whatever it is. And and, and, so, and I was just minding my own business, just scrolling. And then I see this like post on one of my mum's groups. And I'm just like, <laughs> and, like and, then, and then it had about like over a hundred freaking oh, comments though, was, didn't it? it? Like, and there's there was a following. Quite a few women ended up saying, I've got a friend, I've got a brother. I've got, um, you know, uh, uh, my personal trainer, my dog handler, my so they, <laughs> the uh, guy in Audi. Oh man, that weekend <laughs> I was flooded with messages, um, and the, it was funny, you know, because the, a lot of men ended up saying, "Do you have a picture of your girlfriend?" So when they said that, you men, what now? <laughs> I said I, I kept them at bay. Don't worry, um, and then I sort of like um, asked them, you know, some qualifying questions. Yeah, because like. Bless Naomi, right? She actually, yeah, she she interviewed me. She was like, okay, but, but she knows me really well. I mean, not just from what I've been saying on the podcast. Um, and what Jay but, was saying too, remember? Oh, God, yeah, and Jay, right? So, okay, I blame Jay and you, right? <laughs> so, so I was looking for a man with hair on his head. <laughs> so I had to scroll through to make sure that they didn't lock their profile 
um, had the, had to yeah yeah hair. yeah yeah um, even also about the musical musical thing <laughs> yes isn't it? yeah so um, yeah so I did I did sort of like <laughs> a couple of qualifying questions mm-hmm. um, I went on to Bumble I didn't go on Tinder. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll we'll need to do an exercise across the different platforms. But on tin, uh, on Bumble, <laughs> I did qualify them for some questions. So it was, it was. Oh my yeah, god. So we. So you know. So to this. So this, Mister Potential LP. Mister Potential LP. Yeah, I, I like that. You know, Mister LP. Mister LP. That sounds um, like a DJ name. Yeah, and I was LP man. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> so we're going to. Uh, Match these potential men. Yeah. Or, so this first one, where did, where did he come from? Uh, a friend of a friend. He's educated. He's quite funny. Educated, very, yeah. Yep. And he's quite witty. So I've had a be. conversation with <laughs> him and I gave him some screening questions. It was really funny because he did actually say he looked us up. See, so that, that that impressed me a bit because, like, you know. And it, I, di- I didn't give him much information either. So that. that was really good that he sort of, like, said, I just went. He did it me, basically. He just <laughs> went out there. <laughs> and he was like, oh, I did a bit of research and, you know, like, just so that I knew what I was getting myself into. So that I was quite impressed with that. That, is, that is really, And yeah. it was quite funny too. So, you know. Yeah, and that, that's super important. I mean, obviously, I mean, listen to me. I mean, God, right? You, you can't take me seriously. I mean, like, you got to be able to, like, t- Tit for tat type yeah, thing, yeah. right? So, you know. and um, and just ha- and he was a real gentleman. Like when I had the conversation with okay. him, so I'm looking forward to <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Can't you tell? I'm so looking forward pressure. to this as well. Like, so much pressure, um, you know? Yeah, it's like it's funny because getting ready for dates and things. It's it's funny because obviously we're at Bella Vista Hotel and all our dates are done at Bella Vista Hotel. So, getting ready to do um, you know, for the date and stuff involves like yeah, getting ready for the podcast, but also. <laughs> I had to look the part and like, yeah, look right. like I'm going out on a we date. we were talking about that last night. Oh, last night or yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Because I was, oh my God, yeah. And then you're, you're like, I got to get dressed up. Yeah, because look, <laughs> since since like mid-December, I've been working from home. Yeah. And like in, in my like active wear, in my land stuff, in just like yeah. wearing just, just rubbish, right? <laughs> Not wearing any makeup or nothing. Just like living like my best communal sort of fantasy, right? <laughs> And um, and then now, and usually when we come to the podcast to record, really casual, I'm, yeah, super casual. I mean, sometimes I throw on some makeup on or whatever, but usually really ca- casual. And I was all like, yeah. I mean, I've, then all of a sudden, Another it's like dawned at on the me. Recording studio, yeah. And then- and I was like, dang, yeah. you got a date. I've got a date. you got to dress up. I've got to look like I'm going out of the day. To be fair, look, I like to think that I always look kind of presentable anyway. Like, yeah, you, you do. Know, you right? do. But, um, I don't think I've ever seen you look. Like you've been dragged out of a dryer. Or oh, anything. really? <laughs> <laughs> but it's it, but you know the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I, I, man, I have. Man. I've, I've been just just watching my Netflix, doing my. Ex- look, we're all on a health kick. If you if you yeah, want, yeah. Right. If you if you're listening and you want support and getting fit and active and stuff, come and look up, look us up on Sydney Friends. We've got a, a great support group there, and we've got a challenge going on. And because I'm the ringleader in that, thing, yes. I've, I've got <laughs> I've got to make a, a bit of an effort and show, you know. So um, so I've been I've been keeping fit. So yeah, so this You've person's been... getting uh, is getting a good version of me, well, <laughs> not, not not the complete 100 percent version because obviously there's some work to be done there. But um, in terms of in terms of health and that, but um, I'm getting there. So it's yeah. So yeah. So it's looking positive, <laughs> and I'm excited. <laughs> I'm all babbit in the ways. I'm nervous. I'm like, I'm going to go to Tesla. <laughs> and, uh, and after the date, we'll have an opportunity to interview you both. And it will just be me interviewing you. Oh, my God. Yeah, I didn't even think of it that way. You know what I mean? I know. I know. I, I, no, I'll be like, listen, like, is there something that you, else you need to, you know, say? Whilst, I, might have, you know, I might have to say, Louise, you may leave the <laughs> studio. Actually, you know what? I don't mind so that. I can uh, get God. some dirt. You know what? <laughs> I think that might be a good idea, actually. Do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon so. Okay, no. Oh, All right. Uh, well, look. Okay, well, we're looking forward to. Well, am I? I mean, I, can't, I know Naomi is. Like, she's like, oh my god, she's got a big. But there's so much her. pressure. There's so much pressure. You know, look, Naomi. No matter what happens, okay, whether or not it goes completely balls up, or you know, you never know. know you might, you might have to buy a hat. Yeah, I might have to buy a hat. <laughs> it was really interesting because it it took some blind faith on his part as well because yeah. he's actually a couple of times removed, you know. So his friend saw it in a mum's Oh, what? Now I've got the tons of fresh <laughs> <laughs> 
Man, park, you know? <laughs> oh God. Yeah, well, this is it. But then again, remember what I did say to you but with my dates? I'm always, I am always very pleasant, right? I'm always yeah. very kind of nice and, and like, you know, yeah, yeah. I always get so. And so no, you will, it so. will be, we, look, we're trying a different way. Yeah. And, and we'll you know, see if it. We've done it with other people. And so, you know, what better way? If, if I can't. If I can't take it, then I shouldn't be ditching it out, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now you get to be in the hot seat. Yeah, I know. Right? Naomi, you're so lucky you got Mr. Naomi K. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, or else I would be. <laughs> Question of the week. When is a non negotiable not, in quotations, a non negotiable? Oh, Naomi. God. My non negotiables are pretty non negotiables. <laughs> So that they are hardcore. They're, they're hardcore uh, non-negotiables. The reason why I ask this question is that, look, I know there's some non-negotiables, like such as serial killer. I'm not going to date a serial yeah. f- fucking serial killer. I'm yeah. not going to date my brother. I don't even have a brother, but hey, but you know what I mean? Case. Just in case. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to possibly date, I'm not possibly, I'm not going to date someone with like a criminal record, right? You know, yeah. you know those are, for me, those are non-negotiables. So, I mean, I know I say about the hair thing. Okay. Yeah, so that's, but, I mean, but, when is a, you know, when people say, oh, he's an inch shorter than me, you yeah. know, that sort of thing. Oh, he's, um, he has brown hair. Yeah. And so that we've talked about how physical characteristics are appealing to some people. And there's a lot of men out there who've actually given us the feedback. Oh, if I'm under six foot, I just rule myself out. Yeah. And, and I think that, you know, if the guy is great in every other way, mm-hmm. if he's shorter, that's not going to be a big difference. I don't mind dating people who aren't six foot. Right, and I've, mm. I've said this, mm. right, because I, I'm bloody short myself, right? I'm 5'2". Yeah. With heels, yeah, I do come across like I'm taller. And most people are like, oh, when I, when I take my shoes, I'm like, damn. Damn, you're really short. Yeah, I, I thought you were tall. I'm like, well. I thought you were taller. Oh, hi. So I don't mind dating people who, you know, 5'8", 5'7", mm. because like for me, they're, they're freaking massive. They're taller than you. Yeah, you know what I mean? They're oh, towering over me anyway, right? <laughs> yeah, it's true. like, because I'm a bit of a... Yeah, short ass. Yeah, I understand. What are really non-negotiables. But um, just going back on that, I understand if you're six foot, mm. like if you're a six foot woman. Yep. And you know the person is like five eight. Mm. I could see some people feel you know feel some kind of way with that, and yep. and because I think the innate thing about a woman is that they want to feel protected. Yep. I guess it's a psychological thing that yep. where they're like saying, oh, okay, if I'm dating somebody who's five seven and I'm six foot. It's mm. kind of like, would I have to go and ninjutsu kick him, drop kick him for us? Right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Even though in in theory you, you wouldn't, it doesn't really it doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, right. You know, I do have a couple of girlfriends who are taller who've dated or even married shorter men. But um, in in terms of non negotiables for me, if they're using any type of illicit drugs right, or okay. recreational drugs, mm-hmm. that's a no for me. Yeah, if they're um, smokers. Yeah. Drinking, I'm okay with that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So long as there's social drinkings and not drinking half an hour after waking up in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Those will probably be my first initial ones to okay, sort yeah. of like as a selection criteria. I would, I would say, I mean, my non-negotiables, I mean, I don't mind if they drink. Um, mm. I, there was a time when I didn't mind if they smoked because I used to be a smoker. I'm an ex-smoker. I've been an ex-smoker now for a while. A while, yeah, for, for years actually, like a good five years and stuff. I mean, recreational drugs, if they do it, as long as they don't do it around my kids yep. and that, because look, I'll be, I'll be honest, I'm an adult and stuff. I, I've done recreational drugs and I'm, you know, I've turned out all right, you know. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's a time and a place for it and yep. what have you. My non-negotiables are, I, I think the smoker thing now is, is a non-negotiable for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, if they're, if they're smoking and they're trying to quit, Yep. Then, then I would entertain it. You yep. know, I'm quite easy going with yep. that. Or you if know? they're social smokers. Oh, uh, even a social smoker. Um, uh, what is a social smoker? Social smoking means you bloody smoke, man. It's like Yeah, but you know, like there's some people who just only smoke when, when, you, they're, when they're around friends or yeah. at a bar. I, they don't even smoke, you know, yeah. at a restaurant or anything. But like it's... No. I draw the, yeah, I think if you're, just say you're a smoker, you, you are smoking whenever and I'm trying to quit. I do smoke occasionally when, you know, then then I'll be like, okay, I'll be a bit more entertaining. If you're just still going to smoke when we're out and about, like in a social setting, then nah, right? Yep. Because it's just, you know, so that's so that's a non-negotiable. Another non-negotiable for me is, and I've done, and this may rule out a lot of people, but it's because I've done it before. I would like to date someone with kids because I've done, I've dated people without kids and they have no, no understanding what it takes to be a parent 
mm. to having a, another dependent. Yep. And I just don't understand why, you know, sometimes emergencies happen and I may have to drop something and, and they're just like, well, you take, you take it. I'm like, yeah, because that's my son, man. So of yeah, course yeah, he's going to yeah. be priority. Right? Yeah, that's right. So I, that's I, non-negotiable. I totally, yeah, I totally agree with you on that one. Because, yeah. and, it, and it takes a certain... Um, level of empathy as well. And the other thing that, um, you know, with pe- dating non-parents is what if they turn around and they said to you, I want a kid. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, like, because yeah. everybody will reach certain stages in their life. I'm, And I've been quite honest with this. I've had ovarian cancer um, a few years ago and I had to have a hysterectomy and, and everything. So I, can't, I can no longer have kids. I'm open to adoption and what have you, but I can't have natural kids anymore mm-hmm. because, hey, I chose my life and I already had a son, right? Yep. So, so yeah, so that's a, you know, again, a non-negotiable is, uh, you know, if you want new, if you want your own kids and stuff, then I'm not the person for you. Yep. Another non-negotiable for me, they have to have a career. They have to have either a stable job, um, mm. you know, they're they they, they, they they're working. And, and they earn an honest living. And an honest living. Yeah. You know, none of this like, yeah, I, I'm in between stuff at the moment. And, uh, you know, I, I, yeah, that sort of jazz. Yep, yep. And, and the thing is... I mean, we're all in our 40s, you know, it's like... And late and early fifties. And I sometimes mean, people do go through a yeah. life where they sort of like decide, I don't want to be, I don't know, a, a lawyer anymore, but I want to have a different direction. Yeah, which is and, cool. I've done that. I yeah, mean, and yeah. what path they're actually heading off for that. So but, that that is okay. But the thing is, for me, it's non-negotiable because I'm on the page where I know what I want in my life, and mm. I'm and I'm doing what I want in my life and stuff. And I want somebody on that same page. I don't want to be the person who helps them figure out what it is that they want. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. Like I, I, don't come to me and, and think, hey, I'm, I'm going to date her because she can put me on the straight and narrow and I could you know, emulate to be and her. And you're know, not looking at, at this stage in our life, we're not looking at changing anybody either. So no. but if you if by in your mid forties you know and moving forward, if you haven't sort of like figured yourself out then I'm sure. I'm not the person for you. Yeah, I'm not I, gonna I, help you for Nah, that. exactly, exactly. And uh, again and another non negotiable the non negotiable thing for me, and I've said this before, age. 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 Sorry, I my cut off is fifty, mm. right? I, I look I have dated people in like fifty two, fifty I mean Jay. Jay was fifty three, right? Mm. I mean, well, not, he was fifty three now, but I, I did date him when yeah, I didn't meet him. Yeah, years it was older. like forty eight, forty eight, whatever, right? Forty nine. Yep. So there is that. So for me, if I say I want someone between the ages of forty two and fifty because yeah. I'm 45. And a 23-year-old. Oh, had, my God, no. There was a 23-year-old who actually messaged me and said, man. hey, will your girlfriend actually consider no, something No, that's younger? nasty, man. <laughs> no. Uh, I could be your mother, looking, man. You're not looking for a playmate for your son. You, you know, that's just... You know, like when I, when I was dating, I did have younger men um, sort of like ask me, oh, how about... This? And for me, having older boys... Yes. It was something that I couldn't, it didn't resonate with me. And like you said, it wasn't on my page. No. And everybody's judgment or everybody's preference is personal. Yeah. So there'll be men who will date younger women or older women and and women who do the, the same. And that's okay for them. Yeah, because it's, it's okay for them. I mean, I have I have a bit of a, uh, a thing with dating people, like age gap relationships. I mean, I, but I don't, I don't really want to go into it. I just think you have to be on the same page because sometimes the maturity isn't there. And then you date in and, it, and then, look, I've seen it happen, all right? I've seen it happen. I think Jay, Jay alluded to it. Mm. All right, when he was when he was on yeah. on this show, sometimes it, it it's just you know there's no you're not on the same page. There's not that maturity there. You, you, so after a while, once the initial traction of they're hot wears off, what do you really have in common? Right? That's, yeah, and that's definitely something Jay talked about, like reference to music or time. Periods. You know, and also how do you know that that person who is younger isn't searching for something for you to feel? You know what I mean? So it's like a, a mental thing, like you know. Yeah, yeah. And then when when they're fine and ready and, and, and okay again, they will look back and go, oh, you may, may have taken advantage of me because I was in a, in a vulnerable state. And, you know, mm-hmm. you're, you know, there's a lot of weird <laughs> that goes with that. So I'm just a bit like, mm, yeah. Yeah. You know, so you've got a range. I've got a range. I think we've had this conversation. Travel, right? So I think if you if you meet someone and they live a few hours away and stuff. And, oh, yes, because I have asked you a couple of times. Yeah. And you connect. And you're f- and you f- and you you know and you you're happy and you're chatting and stuff. I I think I think that is that, that surely shouldn't be a non-negotiable at the start. I mean, because you don't know where it's going. It's not like you're gonna have to move over there, or whatever. But, I mean, but there's it's like, still there's still um, a 
a cut off though. I think look, I think there's definitely a cut off. I think if you're in Sydney, mm. right? Metro Sydney. Yeah, if you're in if you're in Sydney, and for example, I live in Ride, right? Bear in mind again, I mentioned this many times, I don't drive, right? <laughs> okay, so everything here is like bloody public transport or Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yes. I'll um, swing by and pick you up yeah. on the way to Bella Vista. Yeah, that, that's my life, right? Or, or Uber, okay? I've met people who live in like eastern suburbs, northern beaches and stuff, and that's a trek, right? Heck, I met Jay when he lived in Port Macquarie, yep. right? That's, and how the hell did you guys meet in the Tinder? <laughs> he put Sydney on there and it was like, because oh, uh, he was working here yeah, and, yeah, and he, he was, did, coming, he was commuting, coming back and forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. commuting, right? You know, you, you can make it kind of work. I think people who say to me, here in Sydney, oh look, I live in I live in Ride, and yeah, and um, and he lives in Eastern Suburbs. It's too far for me. <laughs> I'm a bit like that. You, but everybody knew about my criteria. Yeah, you know, radius. Yeah, <laughs> my crazy radius of twelve kilometers. I just think, yeah, if if you can't make the effort to like meet, and and, you, and that's the only thing that's wrong. Then I think that's that's a uh, oh no, you know there's, I mean? there's not always, you. I'm not talking. Yeah, yeah. I'm no, just no, saying, no, yeah. but like yeah, at, that would probably that that 12k was more like a selection criteria, but it was not a non-negotiable. That's it, th- and that is what I'm saying. Right? Yeah, what is a non? Yeah, that's right. Do you know what I mean? And so if. If, um, I mean, my partner's very lucky. He's 11 <laughs> kilometres away, so he just made the cut What was it, 11.9? 11.9, 875. Depending on the path. That he take, <laughs> and where he parked his car. No, but um, if, yeah, if they were 13... 13? 13 kilometres. Oh, right. So I was like, oh, 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 I would have been going okay. back to young thing again. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but um, I, I, I hear you in terms of you can't sort of like rule out it completely. No, you can't, like you can't, especially when you're in the – I mean, I understand that like the whole long-distance relationship thing, hence why like me and Jay's not together. I mean, even though we did – that's what we did when we started. But at the moment in time, we're not in that right – It's a lot It's a lot in travel. Yeah, it's a lot in, it's a lot in travel, right? Five, five hours, I mean, you yeah. know, if you're driving fast. You know, like by the time you sort of like – want to get some jiggy, you know, and then you have to jump in the car and drive five hours. By the yeah. time you get there, you're like – you know, I don't feel like it anymore. Exactly, but but an hour, hour and a half. I mean, nah, come on, right? I, th- I think look, you can make that effort to. Mm-hmm. I think I don't think that should be a a non negotiable. Yep, yep. Anything right. else? So um, distance, not so much. So yeah. So what what would what would you classify uh, in distance? Is again, uh, yeah, that's not really a non. What is there? Is there any others that aren't really like you think? Oh, oh. no. I, like, Do you think my hair thing is? What if you met him, he had hair, and then he started to lose it? Okay, that's different because I've seen him with hair. and I, Like, sorry, I, I, I used to hate me for saying this, <laughs> right? But my son's dad, bless him. I love him to pieces, obviously. But uh, he, look, he, he, he says it himself. Mr. Naomi K is looking at me laughing, going, I can't believe you're saying that, man. <laughs> um, no, it's true. He said it himself. And he actually shaves his hair off now. Yeah. Um, because he's like, I, just, I can't be bothered to, like, you know, Pretend <laughs> it's, like, it's going anyway. But when I, when I first met him, he had this Brad Pitt thing going on. He had hair and, and stuff. He, he, he was he was a looker. Okay, right? okay. What so, if what if you met this guy and he had a wig on that you didn't know? The what now? <laughs> maybe, maybe he's got a receding hairline and he's topping it up. Is this, is this, is this is my date got no, a receding hairline? You said we're really talking this up. I don't know. I'm just asking. <laughs> No, nah, look, look, it's, man, okay. They have to have hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the other thing that is a non-negotiable for me is extreme religious views. Yeah, oh, God, yeah, that yeah. That one, I think, would be my non-negotiable. Yeah. So anything, like, religious of any kind, like, whether they're really, really Christian, really, really... Um, and anything. Yeah. And look, for me. I mean, I, I'm Catholic. Yeah. I'm, I was, look, I was brought up Catholic. I'm not following any sort of religion yeah. now, but your Catholic guilt, you know, you, that will never ta- go away oh, from you. Just, you, like, uh, you do all the second Yeah, you still case. do. Like, exactly. You got to hedge your bets again, just, right? You just know? in case. But I'm more spiritual. I'm more yeah, about the universe and stuff. I completely agree with you, Naomi. And uh, I, I had that. Remember Mr. Sky News? And it's like, you know, I don't do right, you know, that conservative. Mm. Um, super duper Christian people. Yeah, look, not uh, too far right, not too far left. Yeah, exactly. So, I, I'm oh. sort of moderate. I'm more left leaning. I'll be honest. Mm. Um, so you know, so yeah, I, I completely agree with you. I think you have to have the same 
kind of beliefs and values and stuff. I think we t- touched on that in the, yeah, in the yeah. previous season. I mm. think you do. And I think you're right. That's a non-negotiable yeah, for yeah, me yeah. as well. So um, religion and probably like very similar uh, with religion is the political views. You know what? I'd be interested to hear yep. what the herd says. You yes, know? most definitely. What are your non-negotiables when it comes to dating? Yeah, go on um, the what they said uh, Facebook, Facebook page, page yeah. and uh, let us know. We'll, we'll start up a post and, yeah, we'll be interested to hear from you. And that's non-negotiable. <laughs> and we're going to be burning down the house this week with us going back to our fire signs and Leo. Yes. Leo, the lion. Yeah, the lion, the like. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? They are very confident and they do come up at you all like, you know, with the swagger of a lion. Mm, mm. I can say. King of the jungle. Yeah, exactly. That's what they think they are. They, mm. they, they do genuinely think that they are the leaders and the king of the herd, mm-hmm. you know? Yep. So, yeah. But other than that, look, they are very loyal. They're very kind hearted, big hearted. You know, you hear how they say like Richard Lionheart, you know, yep, it's yep. like it's they are very big and courageous. They are very gung ho. They are very kind of like, you know, what some people would think, OK, let's just chill back a bit. Let's just see what happens. Let's mm. just, you know, they're quite fiery. And- yeah, they, they just go. No, nah, actually, let's not see what happens. Let's see what happens when I go in there. OK, and I, you know, I mean, I'm ready. You know, yeah. Like, yep. OK. And quite theatrical. Fire signs in general, especially they, Leo, they go. They are kind of dramatic, they, dramatic. And they are actors and they, they perform. Mm. They are very much the performers. So, for example, I know a number of Leos personally who mm. are in theatre, mm. um, in TV, Yep. Um, either production or in front of the TV. Mm. And they are either a Leo or air, so- oh, sorry, air, um, fire signs in general. Yep. So especially the Leo and Aries. Leo and Aries are very much more similar than, say, um, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Sagittarius is in its own little bracket, right? But we'll get to that. We'll get to that one next week, right? But Leo and Aries are, are very similar. You'd be forgiven to, mm. um, you know, think that one was the other and one was Who was are their the perfect other. matches? Uh, another fellow... Fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Mm. And the reason why I keep saying air signs is that they also go very, very well with a Libra because a Libra, Gemini and um, Aquarius Mm -hmm. because it's opposite. And not only that, you need... You need air for fire mm. to um, grow and to, yep, yep. you know, so to breathe you need life both. into the fire. Yeah. Yeah. So there's, there's that commonality. Mm-hmm. So, and they're very much, they, they love the fact that with air signs, air signs can be very much, um, you know, we, we touch on this, like with Libras, it, most people want to take care of us because they're like, oh, they're so nice because we're nurturing and stuff. right? Mm-hmm. And that suits a fire sign like a Leo. I can't, I can't, off the top of my head, I can't think of any famous Leos. But Oh, actually, Madonna. Madonna's a famous Leo. Mm-hmm. Um, so there you go. She's like a, a big performer, really massive into, um, you know, singing. And, and she's like louder than life. And she doesn't give a flying <laughs> what people Jennifer think of Jennifer Lopez. Her. Jennifer Lopez, again, another perform, big performer as mm-hmm. well. And yep. this is what I mean about Leos. They like really, they, they love a performance. They're very, as you said. Quite dr- <gasps> dramatic. Jason Momoa. So Jason Momoa, and you, well, he's he embodies kind of <laughs> like the look like, of yeah. a what you think a you know Leo a lion would yep, be. Yep. Again, he's the sort of person who oh look after you. Just, uh, sorry, Jason Momoa, if you're listening to this on the, on the <laughs> flip side, Chris Hemsworth is really yeah. Yeah. again. Chris Hemsworth's got that sort of mane of golden hair, and yeah, you know, yeah. right? and again, Chris Hemsworth, you don't sound anything like what I just <laughs> right. Arnold Schwarzenegger. See, see what I mean? We yeah. come out, it's, there's a theme. There's here. a theme, and and when we look, you've been listening to us do this for a while, there is a kind of when you look into it, you can kind of see it. Yeah, like you just you can see it once you match it up. You go, ah, oh. ah, oh, I saw Willie. Okay. <laughs> you know, so Dang. that so that sort of like applies for the, um, women and women. Uh, I mean, and look men. at Madonna and Jennifer Lopez, etc. I mean, it's it's very very similar, and they're as I said, they're very driven. Mm. I mean, Madonna, case in point, they're very driven. They will go and get what they want. And because they believe in themselves, they're very big um, kind of that confidence and mm-hmm. stuff. So if you want to attract a Leo, yep. be confident, yep. be a bit brash, mm. be um, be kind of like, be that person where all the eyes are drawn onto you because that's that's the Leo. If are you're in a crowded that. room, that people will just go to that Leo. And, Interesting. Um, or, or the yep. flip side of that, be that sort of, 
demure kind of damsel in distress. Because they want to protect. Because they want to protect you. So it's it's vice versa. So no in between. You're either going to go in there like Madonna and go, (laughs) you know, look at me, tits out and everything, right? (laughs) Or, right? Or you'll be like, you know, all that damsel in distress, like Rapunzel type thing, going, oh, save me. Yeah. You know. Perfect match. And you notice I'm a bit quiet here. <laughs> Louise is very quiet. So, Louise, what happened? Oh, this oh week? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, obviously, on Perfect Match, um, we usually set up couples. Well, I usually like go through it and, you know, put couples together and this week is a little bit different isn't it Naomi yes it was, it was me <laughs> who matched you guys up so yeah uh, so Naomi went online um as we said earlier yep yeah so that we said earlier that uh, she went on the line scouring the whole internet to find me a date because uh, she thought that she could possibly do better than what all the dating apps and what I can do as well yeah that's right mm. so to protect um, the privacy of Lou's date. We're going to refer him to Mr. LP. Potentially Mr. LP. Or you can't say Mr. LP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll call him Mr. LP for now. Okay, Mr. LP. Right. Um, okay, so how it came about was this lady answered to my request online in a women's... Um, massive in a mum's, call out, yeah. <laughs> in a mum's group. And uh, she said, my husband went to the cricket with a mate. <laughs> you mentioned oh. this, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. And um, and then so then she said, he said, okay, if I PM you. So she messaged me. I was asking her questions, but she doesn't know Mr. LP personally herself. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Do oh, you want to say something yeah. <laughs> in your defence? No, no we, we, we've actually met once, oh. but, um, but broadly she doesn't know. Yeah, so, wow. then, okay. so then I was like, <laughs> is he on Facebook? And she's like, oh, hang on, let me ask my partner to ask him. And so it was a bit of a relay of information. You so must be really good mates with her husband then for, for you to go, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, we actually used to work together, but I do trust him. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, okay. <laughs> so Lou didn't know who she was meeting today and I didn't give her any details at all. None. And so I was glad that you were on time. Thank so that, you. That was good. That always. was good. <laughs> that's, that's always a good start. It's a very good start. Absolutely. And yeah. Lou has turned up in the wrong places before on a first date. <laughs> <laughs> so we we got that ground covered. You were in the right place. Yeah, today. well, you know, it helped that you know that we're, we're at Bella Vista Hotel, so that really helps. Like, that would have yes. been really bad if I would have just got you know. Yeah, that's right. Lost between the recording studio and the bar and the bar. Yeah, yeah. considering it's only about I don't know three meters. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yep. Yeah, so uh, I found Mr. LP standing outside and introduced <laughs> you guys and. Lou was very, very shy all of a sudden. I, I was very shy, yeah. I'm, I am super shy. And then shy. it was like... He actually mentioned that. Yeah. <laughs> you just turned really shy. And I'm like, oh, this is a side of Lou I haven't seen before. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> Mike turn to ask all the questions now. Um, how, what were the first impressions? Uh, I was a little bit nervous, to be honest. Yes. Um, oh, see, look. Yeah. yeah it uh, it's been a while. i been on one blind date in my life. Uh, so uh, Yeah, you mentioned yeah. it was a while ago. How, yeah, lo- how long ago? It was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was about 15 or 16 and what? was <laughs> set up by my mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming out now. Eh? <laughs> like, <you know. laughs> yeah, it was to a, uh, well, we were sort of sharing the, the date, the evening. It was to a blue light disco back in the day. So. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet though. And, um, and, so what was your reaction when your mate sort of like said, are you up for a blind date? Well, we'd, we'd actually just spent the day together. So we'd been at the cricket all day yep. and so we'd been talking and catching up. Uh, we hadn't seen each other for a little while yep. and um, exchanging stories and things. And, um, yeah, I it wasn't completely unexpected. Yep. Um, but uh, I thought, well, <laughs> why not? <laughs> why not? Well, it wasn't well, obviously a lot of unexpected, but... Um, <laughs> But uh, but he, he's he's kind of a helpful guy. Right? Oh, so, a helpful uh, guy. So I thought, so yeah, well, I was, uh, I was kind of chuffed he thought of me and I uh, thought, well, no, why not? Yep. How about you, Lou? <laughs> what, first impressions? Yeah, first impressions. Well, I, I just came out from the bathroom and I just <laughs> walked in and I, was, I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, like, hey, and so, like, oh, wow, oh, hi. Yeah. So Your date I, is here. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, okay. Because... So, <laughs> You know, sometimes you need time to kind of prepare yourself. You yep, know, like yep, yep. even when you're going out on a date, uh, you, you, st- you turn up in the bar 
and you're outside just stealing yourself going right okay we could do this it's, it's cool you know yeah, yeah. Uh, but maybe it's a good thing yeah really that you know you do get thrown in the deep end because yeah you know yeah. um first impressions i didn't hear his what he thought about me when first impression so <laughs> you go first and then I'll do it. I think um, I, I don't really judge people. It's really yeah. hard to judge. And, um, you know, it's always a very different person once you start talking to them. And, yeah, certainly uh, learned a lot about Lou today that uh, yep. yeah, found really interesting. Yeah, oh, okay. chatty. Similarities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is a lot of similarities. Oh, really? <laughs> um, yeah, no, my first I impression. Even, I didn't even f- get you to fill in our questionnaire, so. What? Got- <laughs> So you know, this is some psychic did, thing did, or something. I did ask you like, some questions. There's some weird, I, crazy similarities. Is it really? Yeah, that's, but, it, but we'll get into that. Oh, okay. Like, oh. um, no, my first impression was lovely. Yep. I thought, oh, you know, it, it looks nice. Yes. He, he's you know, taller than me, which, is, which helps because <laughs> I'm only five foot two um, without heels. And um, yeah, that was lovely. Yep. Yeah. Once I got over my initial kind of, here you go, go on your date, bye. <laughs> you know, right. type thing. I pretty much sent you on your way pretty yes. quickly, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Um, and you guys had plenty to talk about. Talk about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. When I when I came in halfway, I think, um, you were showing him some pictures of your creativity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how he got into that. Like... <laughs> he's, he's laughing. It's a- I, I, I won't say that you volunteered it. <laughs> in, in a way, I did, didn't I? Like, you know, you did. Um, I think we were talking about we were talking about something, and uh, and uh, and something led into crochet. It was something random. Yep. And I said, "Oh yeah, I actually crochet." Because he said, "Oh, you know, who actually crochets and knits or whatever it was?" And I'm like, "Well, I do." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "He's like what?" And I'm like. Yeah, I won awards and things for it. <laughs> <laughs> so you talked about similarities. Yes. Yes. Did you find out his star sign? No, actually. Oh, I'm Aquarius. You're Aquarius. Okay, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I okay, did. Right, I yeah. did, yes. Um, okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, well, fellow air sign, that's good. Yeah, right. Yeah, so I'm Libra. And, yeah, because yeah. part of our segment has a lot to do with right. matching people with star signs as well. And, um, yeah, yeah, so that's... Um, Quirkiness, one, yeah, yeah. we're and, quirky. Uh, and what else was there that you found? Sorry, what did you find in common? Do you us, no, we won't say the name, yeah. yet, but... Yeah, one of ours, well, one of my sons has the same name as... Uh, oh, okay. Yep. Which, to me, is pretty darn random because... It's like, not a it's, common it's name. It's not a common name. No. no. Yeah. Because he said, what did you say? And I'm like, oh, blah. <laughs> And he goes, my, my, my youngest son is like, I was like, what? So, yeah, so that was quite cool. Yep, yep. You know, and then we got to talking about, you know, the name and, and the connotations of having such a name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which was quite cool. Yeah, and ha- and the conversation went well between the two of you? Yeah, I think it did. Yeah, yeah. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's slow there to respond. Yeah. <laughs> Who, me or you? <laughs> well, I didn't date Naomi. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Um, it's it's very rare that we actually, <laughs> <laughs> Louise, uh, you know, gets all shy and tongue tied. So it's yeah you know, because it's, it's, it's like it's, it's on it's on me, you know. Yeah. What I mean? and I'm not I'm not that person. I'm like you know I, I'd rather help people, uh, you know, not let yeah, it be yeah. like you know all yeah, about yeah. me type thing, you know. Yeah, I, mean? like, I know, I know. <laughs> it's funny because but uh, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> so the tables are turned. It has, yes, yeah, yeah. Um and. So, any um, possibilities of catching up again? Oh, look, I'll be game. There you <laughs> go, right? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, well, why not? Life's too short, right? Like, yeah. you know, it, it's we had a, we had good conversations. It, you know, we had a few laughs. I showed him my crochet. I mean, like, you know, I don't not really every, show my crochet to no, anyone. No, not everybody gets to see your crochet. Not on the first date, anyway. No. <laughs> but it, it was interesting, though, because, yep. like, Mr. Potential LP, whatever call him, <laughs> um, lovely guy, um, he was, he, he actually said, he, I'm very different, like, from the podcast to... In real life. In real life, how yeah. I am. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you did, uh, that's one of the things that he did say. He, he did do a bit of research <laughs> on what we did. <laughs> Which I think is great. Like, did and that scare you? No, because I'll... I'll give anything a go, as in you just don't know. Yeah. Like I you know, deal with people all day with work and, you know, you know that um, sometimes people can present very differently. Mm-hmm. Um, to an extent I sometimes present a little bit differently at work to what I sort of am at, at, uh, out of work. Yeah, yep. um, 
So, yeah, you just don't know until you start talking. Yeah. Find out some more. Yeah. Mm. It's like I, I can be extroverted, but I can be introverted as well. And, I, and you guys know that. I've said that yeah. to you. Yeah. And, um, and, and people have said that, even with all the events, et cetera, that we go to. Mm. Um, people are like, oh, wow, you're not as zany and as mad as... as, like, as and I'm yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah. no, I, I can't. Like, who is that person? <laughs> right? And, you know, people like Robin Williams weren't either. Like, mm. you know, so it's, it's kind of that sort of thing. And yep. it, it, is, it is who I am. It is me. Yeah, but also but there's different parts. There's of different you. parts of me, and you know, no, not nobody can be all mental and ma- manic. And can you imagine? And so I'm, not really, I'm not really that manic anyway. No. I, I can talk. Yeah, even then, even to another day we were talking. It was, it was really interesting to see that other side of you, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, it was the, the shy first, thing. Yeah, the shy. Yeah. Like, I, I do get shy. It's just I get shy because like it doesn't matter. Um, you know, I could, I could speak to, I could do presentations, I can, you know, talk to famous people, I can talk, I can do interviews and, and it's my thing and I'll, I'll be very confident in that. Yeah. When it comes to uh, meeting someone, you're, you're trying to put your best foot forward yeah. and you want to be your authentic self and you're kind of like, you don't know what to expect. So I guess you do have a bit of a guard yeah. as yeah. well. Mm. So, you, you know, sometimes it especially for me, I don't know if Mr. LP can vouch for this, but sometimes I do come across as being very sort of guarded yep. or, you know, and, and and I can see that, yep, you know, because yep, yep. there was a time I was sat there sort of with hands clasped, you even <laughs> mentioned that, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, like, <laughs> if you, you might want to say something, I'm doing a lot of talking now. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it was just um, like I did comment on Louise's mannerisms at one point, only as so far as to what type of person that I could see that she actually kind of was versus yep. maybe how she might come across yep. um, in the podcast and stuff. So, um, yeah, which was which was pleasing, you know, because, yeah. again, it just goes to the fact that you can't judge a book by its cover and, yep. you know, um, we're all people and we've all got differences to us and different yep, yep. depths and layers. So how did you find the the, the blind date uh, overall? Pretty good, I think. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. As in... Um, the experience. Yeah, there was some... There was some Pleasant surprises here. Yep. Um, and lots of similarities. Awesome. And this was my first ever blind date. I've never been on a blind date before. I know. I was surprised. Like, there was so much pressure on me. I had so, <laughs> many, I had so many people come forward with, you know, their brothers and their mates' mates and some of the <laughs> guys actually came through themselves. Right. So there was a lot of filtering on my part. I'm surprised. <laughs> 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 You're surprised that a lot of people came forward, or yeah, um, you know, yeah, help, it's, it's it's lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yes, we are so, trying to help. Thank you so much for um, <laughs> being so brave. You're welcome. <laughs> I had a great time. Yep. So, and uh, we'll catch up with you some other time. So <laughs> <laughs> it feels so. Sorry, the goss, the goss. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, and, it, and it feels so hard. Like, I, I, it's hard for me to do just the interview. I realised how much we bounce off each other yeah, when see? we're interviewing people too. Ex- exactly, yeah. You know, it's, it's interesting. Yeah, so. I can't do it to you. This is a problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Naomi Kao. <laughs> He's just giving me a stern look there. So, like, I know, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get rid of him first and then you can see me <laughs> No, we don't want to get rid of Mr. Naomi no. okay? Kao. We know we need to do our technical stuff. <laughs> That's right, and our photos. And our photos, yeah. Yep. So <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, Bella Vista, for um, the date. Yeah, thank you. The and food was awesome as per usual. Yes. We will keep you posted on what happens next. So, Naomi, wow, what another jam-packed episode this week. I mean, I'm still getting over my date. It was lovely. Look, I, I, I have to hand it to you, Naomi. You know, you, you know me quite well. Oh, thanks, thanks. Yeah. I'm interested to know. So What happens next? Yeah, happens I'm interested next? to know what happens next as well. <laughs> um, but anyway, next week's episode, we've got another Chockers episode for you. You'll be talking about when is a good time to introduce your new partner to friends in Naomi's wifey lifey. In Lou's Dating Diary, you're going to be talking about second dates and the importance of the second date and what you'll be getting out of it. And we ask, when do you know when you're ready to date again? in question of the week and in star cross lovers we're exploring the last of our fire signs sagittarius are they half man half beast and in what everyone's been waiting for perfect matches back and we've got a brand new couple to kick off the series again because you know obviously i don't count <laughs> but um all that and more in next week's show see you next week bye